What's good, everybody, man? It's your boy HD. Hey, this is an impromptu episode of Techno Chatter, man. Hey, if you've been rocking with me and uh, liking the content on the channel, I talk about IT news, security news, career news, you name it. Hey, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also, uh, unfortunately, the Clippers just blew game seven, and uh, now we're going to see the Nuggets versus the Lakers for the Western Conference Finals. Man, that's crazy. I definitely thought the Clippers was going to go down, face Brun and them and beat them. But um, I got Brun and them beating the Nuggets. Uh, just more experience. Um, Jay Williams mentioned something interesting on the telecast talking about like Kawhi's energy factor. His, even though he can score buckets, it doesn't energize the team. And I have to agree, when you watch Brun, it's like Brun is kind of contagious. That Nuggets team, all of them get hot, they're contagious. So. It'll be an interesting um, series. So, hey, let me know in the comments who you guys think going to win. But now, on to this video. So, man, I'm so tired of seeing what you're seeing on the screen right now. How I passed Security Plus in under two weeks. I think this guy right here is talking about 10 days. Let's see. I've seen a lot of one week. Like, this is just going to be a gripe. I don't know how long it's going to go, but it's just me talking, man. But, uh, listen, a lot of people, I think, are doing those videos because people, they got certain keywords that people are looking for. Security plus, past, week, and people are clicking on it. And I'm not saying that those people didn't pass in the week, but what I'm saying is telling possibly people about doing that is detrimental and to me counterproductive for this field um because what you're basically saying is you memorized some stuff in a week and you went took the test and passed it now granted if you got experience and they said hey you need to do this or you're gonna get fired that's cool it's different you've been doing this you just need to study for a week and cool but a lot of these people don't have experience and they are watching these videos and oh yeah i'm gonna study for a week and then i'm gonna go pass it it don't always work like that. And then you got to think about it. What are you actually getting out of the certification? Like, what are you getting out of cert that you can absorb all this knowledge in one week and then pass it? I guarantee you, you're not retaining that information. This thing is supposed to enhance your job or whatever your career field is, man. Like, and truth be told, it's a lot of people cheating on these tests. That's a lot of people cheating. If, if, if you got a test bank or you just memorizing questions, how is that helping you? Yeah, you can memorize, or memorize, memorize the questions for the test, but when you get on an interview and they ask you a question that wasn't on SEC Plus, what are you gonna say? Nothing. And I'm gonna equate it to when I was in college, I would try to study a lot of stuff so I could be ready for the test. And time after that test, I forgot the stuff. It's the same thing like also with the courses I had, even with my major classes, I learned the stuff that quarter, then I need to know it for the quarter, then after that, I forgot it because I didn't use it every day. So this is one of those things. You can pass, but what did you really show? Did, did you, are you getting it just to say, hey, I got sick plus, or are you trying to get something from the search? And that's my biggest thing. That's, that's, this is in the realm of search chasing. You know, it, it, I'm telling you, it, it's not that easy, man do this in a week and and push yourself like that and to just go out here and tell these people that I'm passing in a week like I said I'm not gonna combat any of them passing in a week like I said when I did mine I finished the book the study guide book it was pretty thick about this big and thick in a week and I didn't take my test I think until not the end of the month but the next month because I wanted to be sure of myself and not only was I make sure I got questions right but I was understanding why I was that and this and that like there's no way possible you're taking actual note notes going researching working through some labs all that in a week's time that's hard to do you have to have literally nothing to do to do that in a week period so I, I'm not buying it I'm, I'm not buying it I'm not buying it hey hey if you come to this video and you want to argue with me and say oh I passed and I, I did it in a week cool 
And I'm not going to come back and say, oh, what do you do for a living? Because, hey, you might be a person that's fortunate enough to possibly remember this stuff in a week. But it's a lot of people who are failing these tests because they're thinking they're games. And, and I think that's one of the things, too. Certs. I think this is one of the biggest things I forgot to say. So people are in these videos because you've seen a list of videos. Oh, you can make six figures in tech. You can do this in cybersecurity. You can do that. And you've seen all these videos and... They equate sec plus but automatic six figures. And it don't work like that. He Just lied. You got sec plus don't mean you're going to get six figures. You might not even get 70K. You would have to prove to a company that you're worth that amount. Now, does having a sec plus just mean that you're worth 70K? No, it does not. If that's the case, nobody will go to school. Everybody get a sec plus. Everybody be making six figures. That's not what it means. So don't look at these videos and think if you get this cert in a week, the next week people are going to beat your door down to give you a six-figure job no and think about it if it took you a week took you a week to learn this stuff what company is going to put their trust into an analyst or security engineer or any all the other above type of jobs you can do when in cybersecurity? Why would they put their trust in their information making sure it's safe and it's compliant and somebody who learned everything in a week? Like, and, and this is no way making an analogy for uh, a doctor and people in cybersecurity, but if a doctor said, hey, I passed med school in a year and, and, and they did everything they need to do, and I think med school, and I'm wrong with like six, eight, ten years, something like that, I don't know. If I'm wrong, Please educate me in the comments. I, I always love to learn stuff. But imagine if somebody said, hey, I finished everything and I became a medical doctor in a year. Would you want that person to work on you? No. It's just like a cheating doctor. That's why, you know what I'm saying, they respect they get the big bus that put in work. And this stuff ain't easy. Most likely you're cheating. You're using a lot of different material to pass something in a week. And you're just memorizing it. And a lot of these things now, people out here selling stuff now, that's close to the questions on the test. I remember a guy gave me like just about all the answers to CEH like two years ago. That's another reason why I don't like the test. All multiple choice. It doesn't show you anything. Now, granted, you got simulations on SEC Plus, but you can you can pretty much pass the SEC Plus without knowing how to do the simulations. So ask yourself this, ask yourselves this, guys. What are your intentions? Is your intentions to have longevity in this career field or is your intentions to try to search chase and get paid now you can do both but it takes time it really does it takes time it takes time it's plenty if you go on linkedin there's plenty of people talking about hey it took me a, it took me a while to pass the sec plus or the sec plus is harder than i thought these are the people that are actually putting in the effort to learn the material and apply it and pass or fail not people that are out here trying to trick you and say hey I passed it in a week now there are some overlaps sometimes some people are passing them pretty fast if you just recently took like network plus sick plus some of the stuff overlaps and you can have a grasp of the concepts already already knowing how come to your words things that's that's the difference because you basically just taking a come to your test but no nah, man, I, I don't I don't like it. I'm in this field. I don't like frauds in, in my field. I can tell when you're a fraud, especially when you work with me. I can tell uh, that either you lied on your resume, you lied about something, and you just had the good fortune to be working. But uh, I don't like it. Um, a lot of people don't like it because you have to think about it. It's people that put in the time to learn this and not lie and did it honestly with their integrity, and they don't have these jobs. Or maybe they didn't even pass a search. Maybe they're still on um, A plus or Network Plus or whatever cert they're on. They're trying to get it. Maybe they didn't pass on the first time or second time. But they're putting forth the passion to pass it. Or they just aren't good test takers, but they know the material. Those are the people we're interested in hiring. Not people who are trying to get over and think they can pretty much do whatever they want to do. And this is another reason why they changed it. So... This came out next month on the 4th of May. Three years has been out. So by this time, it's a lot of the these test questions floating around. 
and that's why they got to transition to this because it's not as much information on this new test so that like it doesn't launch to november and also what i do know is um it's just a lot of fugazi still going on with this test man like i said it's not worth it it really for any cert i mean i know i'm just right now i'm big on sec plus because I, i've been seeing a lot of those on my youtube feed of how i pass sec plus but any cert man don't cheat yourself and take the shortcut because if somebody asks you what does something mean and you can't explain it and you have whether you have one cert or 15 certs and you don't know anything what does that mean how do you think they're going to look at you but this is just being a quick rant guys um, like I said please stop with the madness with this I passed it in a week and we know it's for views some people may probably did it but it's for views man it's all cap so guys do it the long the eat not the easy way i'm sorry do it the way where you basically earned your keeping you you did this the honest way you'll you'll respect it more it'll mean more to you than doing it a cheap way um i got some more content coming out for you guys i've been pretty busy this week um, getting stuff launched off the ground for textual consulting but trust me uh, I'm coming next time this video quality will be better I'll have my uh, new camera plugged in and they'll be recording me and it'll be way better than this um, in the comments let me know what you guys anything else you want to see from me something you want me to touch on I'm planning on to probably do some introductory short videos maybe on like stuff like the CIA triangle common tcp ports and use cases where you might need to why you need to know that so yeah thanks again for tuning into the channel it's your boy hd don't forget to share this on your social media make sure you hit that bell icon so you know when i'm dropping new content but yeah i'm out